that a statue of Odin? They must really love him. Or fear him. Whoa! Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing this. Take your time. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. These cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Well, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? <laughs> Okay, so, Derlin. At your service. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Till we meet again! What can I make for you? I am, as always, at your service. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarfs? It sounds like it. 
But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. I think I see something. Could you maybe... No! Thank you! Oh, wow. Sindri wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to by subtle means of resistance. <laughs> Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. 
Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like you're in some sort of reputation leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Lamia, why do the dwarves hate you? Oh, in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I helped build some mining rigs. What about them? They're a mistake of mine, from quite a long time ago. If you've got the time, I'd have us turn them off. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here? See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? 
Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfine. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. So see to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet. It was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seat. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Spawning a little witch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process.
dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the ace here in the first place? That's the heart, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them.
You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Oh. 
brother. You ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on, then. <laughs> would have been a shame to have left that behind. I'll disinfect my tools. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. be my best piece yet today. Be safe! survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last wharf and spartle fine. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... No. <gasps> One less feathery spy. Got to reach the ledge on the other side. I wonder if that crank would help us move the gantry. Quite right. <laughs> it's got to be the right spot. Those barrels. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom.
We need to break through the ground here. Let's see if he found a high enough place to drop from. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <gasps> the Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. I think we can reach it there. That's right. 
Wasn't so hard. Call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rigs. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Whatever you need. I'll heat up the forge. fit. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. We going to Durland? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rigs. This is the safety office? 
Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the ace here. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Like this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Watch your 
Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. <clears throat> thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Dullin! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and a bearer of Galahorn. A true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Bomb. 
deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. I think I see something. Whoa! Is that a Drekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep. Definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Oh, oh, no, that Drekius will kill the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed.
Down there. I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. The wretches keep coming from that pillar. Looks like a nest. back on the track. <laughs> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Mimir, tell him left. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. <sighs> the Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Thiener. Yeah, it covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay. So, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh.
me win! Atreus, look for a brake to stop the train! Should be a lever of some sort! Damn it! The brake's stuck! Keep trying, little brother! Father! Stop this train! I think it's about to... No! Get up! Father! A troll? mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? Cooperative in large scare quotes.
might be able to get up there if you help me. That water must have lowered here as the dwarves dug the mine deeper. Wonder what it looked like before they excavated it. some special equipment to use this. The wheel on your right might help, brother. Father, up there. Huh! <laughs> 
Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. Another one of those wooden trucks. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye, might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? on your side. I will lift on mine. <laughs> Heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Keep moving. Looks like we found Darlin's mine entrance. got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? That was close. 